Yellow, it's me. I am <clears throat> Ooh, here again. Ya girl noir back with Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition Part 3. I don't even know why I felt like singing that, but it's fine. Just roll with it. <clears throat> now, I was going to wait a couple days to do this, but I'm already playing because I was grinding so that we could get, you know, to level 20, and I did. Go me. Um, <clears throat> but I have things to do the next couple of days, and after working two night shifts and dealing with the influx of people that are going to be in my house in the meantime, um, come Friday I'm really not going to give a crap about this. So... Excuse me, figured, might as well just do it now. And if I end up having to splice together two different pieces of video, ugh, so be it. It's fine. It doesn't, I mean, it takes a couple of hours because of the program I use, and my computer is quite slow for being six months old. Whatever. Uh, so yeah. Also, I, uh, really need to get out of, uh, get out of lead here. Something fierce. Okay, so, looking here, you'll see I've done a few little things. I found some more scraps of mystery. Two and three, uh, I sort of picked up, <laughs> the accidentally picked up the Crest Home Channel's questline. Oops, that's not supposed to happen for a hot minute. Uh, and then I still have another hunt that I'm not even going to bother with right now. Puppy! Puppy! He's ignoring me. Of course he is. Yeah, don't go where I can't see you, okay? Alright, now we investigate the port. Out of service indeed. Where our wonderful Uncle Arden was kind enough to uh, give us a tip. Ah, man. Fifty points. All right. What gives? No, I don't want that. I don't want your ball. Go on. Stop giving it to me. I love you. I will play with you. Not now. Ah, okay. And then here we go at the end of the dock. No, take that over there. Ah, yes. Angel Guard! Ah, uh, da 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 da. Long room to be the spot where the gods gathered. Some devotees used to offer prayers from the dock of the key, but none ever set sail for the Umbral Isle to make the prayers in person. Good lord. Ah, oh, the isle is regarded as sacred ground, never to be tread upon. Not even the royal family is allowed access. <coughs> A series of reefs surrounds Angel Guard, cutting through the oceanic currents and threatening to sink any... Okay, so that part is true. <coughs> uh, while ferries and fishing boats typically avoid the island, some truly adventurous anglers have been known to approach in hopes of landing a big haul. But those reckless souls rarely return. Okay, so I thought that was just like a joke. Like, oh, or just, you know, an unconfirmed tidbit that was, okay, hello, uh, kind of thrown out there. But apparently there are, uh, currents surrounding the island that make it very, very difficult to, uh, to reach it. Uh, so I wouldn't be super surprised if Burstale and his little, you know, fleet or whatever it is, uh, popped over there 40, almost 50 some odd years ago and found Arden by way of an airship. So, there's that. Uh, also, it begs the question if Bahamut and the other Astros, more accurately Bahamut because the others don't seem to give a shit, um, if he was trying to keep the truth of Arden's existence from the rest of the world. Which is interesting. Like, what did you expect was gonna happen? That this dude was just gonna hang out there 
in this cavern on a on an island and wait for the true king to be born and come kill him? That is sad. Go Arden, more power to you. Fuck the gods. At least these gods. What's all this about the port closing? I'll be quiet, ma'am. Karen. Hold up, Altisha. Guess we have to stay another night. According to my sources, the Empire given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altisha. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. Okay, I'm just gonna say right now, he, for some reason, reminds me of a character from the Jetsons, and I don't know why. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? That appreciated. That little hair thing. That little wobble of his hair when he. Oh my god. Huh. Oh my god. This bites. How am I supposed to make my deliveries? Whew. He's really got your number, Nux. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Ah, Ignis. He's got it all figured out. Ah, here we go. Now this is the part with the... Uh, I don't want to do this, oh, nice here. so I'm yeah. not going to do it. That quest mark right there, it's... Uh, you go basically go fishing and get what's-her-face at the uh, resort restaurant to cook the fish and give it to the cat. And I'm like, mm, not not now. Maybe later, when I care more. Maybe. Also, if I sound a little stuffy, I'm noticing it. Uh, it's because I did just eat some hot and spicy wings. And I did a dumb thing and touched my eye. So, so, so that, that's a thing now. So, eh. Do I really have to go all, oh, I know where I'm going. Ready for more? You bet. I Let's thought I was, it. I thought I was going someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. Maybe Sid was right about your lack of dignity. Ooh. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. Yeah, Nock doesn't seem too interested. I mean, not like I can blame him. I mean, can you imagine people, like, tiptoeing around you all the time because your dad is the king? Like, gross. Like, don't be a creep, but, you know, don't be a kiss-ass either. Also, this music from Kingsglaive is on point. Love me the prologue. Love it! I thought the DOG was staring at me. It turns out it's just the uh, handle of my water you bottle. Sure, we're in the right spot. According to the map, let's scope it out. It should be a nice change of pace. I can't believe I didn't notice until like this year that the regalia is like this horrible purple color. I mean, it kind of works, but at the same time, it makes me crazy that I didn't realize it. Ugh, I'm so mad. But yes, look, right there. Level 20. 20, 20, 20. Ha ha! It's all coming up 20s. <sighs> Ooh. What's this? If I could 
Thank you. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. He's sticking his giant face right in mine. No, pup. You're a good boy. He is a good boy. You are so cute. Now get out of my face. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. It's time for you to relax -o. He always gets antsy when it's time for bed, so. Well, for him to go to bed, at least. Hey, get out of there. Thank you. Love you. I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. This will make a fine paint. Oh God, you guys should see his, his little face. His little face, his little labby face. He just gives me the sad eyes and I want to die. Okay, go get it. God, he's so cute. Why <sighs> can't knock? O-M-G. <sighs> We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. <laughs> <laughs> Prompto's uh, whimpering really makes this for me. I mean, look at that thing, it's huge. Look at those teeth. Look at those teethers. Those big burb teeth. Who knew burbs had teeth? <laughs> so one thing that bugs me about this section is like... And not just this one, I guess with really all of them, you can't jump off the cliff. God knows why. Nox can warp, but you can't jump off the cliff. <laughs> I just work here. Ah! <laughs> okay, but why wings? I'll wait. But why wings on its head? <laughs> oh, look at them egg warmers. <laughs> Off it goes. Adios, verb. Bird is the word. Oh, we made it out alive. Barely! I seriously thought we were at journey's end. But that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. I mean, it was... I just... I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> hmm. so, let me get this straight. So, in Gladio's humble opinion... Gladio's not my favorite by any means. Uh, in the Gladio's humble opinion... The uh, idea of fetching a piece of rock uh, from beneath a giant sleeping bird is a royal feat. <sighs> Man, it's hot. Then lose the jet. Like, okay. Everything in order. Yep. All right. Might as well just back up, Ignis, all the way down the road. All the way. Okay, don't. Ignore me. Just fine. Ignis, drive faster. Oh, I'm sorry. What was... What? <laughs> I, can't, I can't actually believe I did that. It's probably gonna sound like someone grinding nails in a blender. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This was a bad idea. I swear, if Prompto... Uh, chimes in with, oh, let's get a photo right here. I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm not gonna do it. Don't you dare. Boy, don't do it. Bird boy, don't do it. Blondie, don't do it. Holding my breath here. Luna was given so much, uh, so much story, so much more depth in 
the movie as opposed to the game, which kind of makes me mad. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Like she is, she's like she's not like as as far as the game goes, she's not as central as like Noct and friends. Okay, but she is a central character, and I think the fact that. Gosh, just the entire, just the way they handle production of the game and Final Fantasy XV universe is just, like, I can understand, I absolutely understand multimedia. I mean, look at, look at, like, Pokemon, okay, for instance, you know. I mean, look at Final Fantasy VII. Look at Final Fantasy X, you know, all of that multimedia, you know, like, um, a couple audio CDs... Um, Stinking hot, indeed. Uh, Spin-off games, <laughs> you know, a couple of books. You Welcome know, that. to Golden Key. But it's like, and then Seven had a movie with Advent Children. But it's like, what they handled all of that so much better. Like they actually had their the whole story thing? together, and maybe they did from the beginning for this. But the way they implemented it was not effective. Does that make sense? And don't even get me started. Do not get me started about the people Appreciate who have that whole versus 13 superiority complex. Because versus 13 only ever made it to about 25% completion. You cannot tell me that just based on that one scene with Noct and Stella that you know What's versus was going to be closing? more successful Some kind of or better than 15. You night. can't possibly know that. Production never finished. It never got off the ground. Just, just stop, <laughs> please. Just, just <sighs> do not. Don't go there with me, please. I can't. Let's just give this <laughs> rock to the dinosaur. Oh nice God! Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I, I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. Oh you God. understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. Okay. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. Oi. All right. It'd be great if I could tag this properly. There we go. Sorry, I also just touched my eye again. I need a wet wipe or something. Good lord. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta talk to him, that's right. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, it must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. All right, so now I guess I could have finished this earlier, but you know. Now that's a meal. Oh, I gotta talk to him again. You guys ready to set sail? Okay, so yeah, I guess I could have done this earlier. I forgot that it was just gonna be that little piece with the rock, but whatever. Yes. Already, the ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? It's kind of early, isn't it? Nah, it's cool. All right, so yeah, I guess I could have just done whatever, whatever. It didn't get done. It's fine. I don't even care anymore. And since we're at level twenty, it's not such a huge deal because I don't have to go back and level grind anything. <laughs> oh. Okay, so what I did end up doing is that, um, I'll, I'll end up showing you eventually. There's a Bandersnatch in a, oh god, what is it called? A ravine. 
in a ravine just to the north of Hammerhead. And... Whoa, we got a real good picture of her. Who is she? Um, mystery Karen. <laughs> no, uh, but I killed that thing about four or five times, racked up the points, and then came down here to the hotel and stayed overnight, because it gives you double points at Golden Key. Doubles your experience, so there you go. It did take me a couple of hours, and it was really annoying, but... <gasps> Luna! Oh, okay, this is direct from the movie. I forgot about this. I knew there was some reference to uh, the fall of... Some direct reference to the fall of Insomnia within the game. But I completely forgot that they actually took little excerpts from the movie footage. Regis, no! Oh, my... I expect, for the most part, um, the area of insomnia that you explore, like, near the end game. Sorry, I have to pause this so I can get this out. Um, I expect that that area of insomnia that you explore during the end game, whether it's, like, the base game or the expanded exploration in the Royal Edition, I figured that's probably the Insomnia City Center, considering the Citadel is at the center, thus, you know, the wall, you know, up and out. Okay, that's all. I keep gesturing like anybody can see me, but... Whatever. Oh, baby boy. Has no idea what uh, happened. Hey, uh, morning. Oh, I should have changed his outfit. Whoops. Where's can Spex? Should be back any minute now. Oh, I can't change it. Okay, whatever. Uh oh. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. It's for bad things. What is? Insomnia falls. What? Is this your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia... But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only. <sighs> what else do we know? Uh. Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. Okay, so what Ignis said there, I completely forgot about. I thought everybody knew that the signing was supposed to be you know, within a couple of days after they left, but look, I have Swiss cheese for brains it's fine, go away um, everybody forgets little things, I forgot that little thing um, 
So I guess he left. Like, Arden proposes the treaty, which is obviously a big load of shit. They leave expecting to attend a wedding right away. And I guess after the wedding was supposed to be the treaty signing. But of course, since it was all a ploy for Idolus to get a hold of the Insomnian Crystal and attempt to get the ring, the timing, I guess, didn't matter? Like, like there wasn't a fixed timeline. Like, there wasn't a fixed date yet for the signing. Is what I what I'm getting at. And Guy currently I has. Hope everyone's okay. <sighs> a lot of good hoping's gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? No. Let's give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Yeah. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. Ooh. Hello. God, I want to fly one of those. Please. I bet it goes fast. It's big and it goes fast. And I bet it shoots too. Look at the size of those things. I know. Imperial dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Uh, no. Duh. Did anybody, did you guys watch them? I'm, I'm, did you, Prompto, did you watch the movie? It's fine. Up ahead! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where- They okay. set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. There go the itty bitty ships. Yeah, so I've seen like stuff on Tumblr, on Reddit, uh, etc., where it's like, wait, did Arden just like show up one day and then did he show up the day before or whatever? And then uh, run out to Galden and then run back? To insomnia and it's like no I don't think that's what happened I think it's I don't you know it's like, let's make a detour there ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead there had to be some weeks months maybe even a couple of years between the uh, the proposal of the treaty and then the uh, false signing and the fall of the city so yeah I don't think it was just insomnia golden insomnia I really don't think it was that simple I think he decided to make a pit stop at Galden on the way to Insomnia to make sure, you know, uh, uh, Puppy Boy Knocked here was out of the way. Because, you know, if Puppy Boy Knocked gets murdered in the, you know, onslaught of There they home, are. Want to take him out? Oh, yeah. Those scrappies are going to wish they had a treaty to protect him. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I think it was a lot more uh, simplified than it than people seem to have made it. Especially because with movies, it's really hard to gauge time. I mean, everything seems to be happening all at once. I have a problem with that. Once the Empire moved in, 
you know, and started taking Where do they keep things. coming from? Can't imagine what it's like inside. Uh, you know, they effectively destroyed that part of Lucis. We should seek a vantage point. Uh -huh. going on? Where are you? Outside the city? With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Right. Time to grow up, not. What did the marshal have to say? Said he'd be in Hammerhead. And the king? And it just gets sadder. I mean, where's the lie, though? Oh, he's so precious. Look at Ignis. Oh, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 